Coming up on this week's edition of Wildcat Weekly, the Tech Crew and Senior Spectacular. All this and more coming up next. Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of Wildcat Weekly. I'm your host, Scott Anderson. The science department here in Yucca Valley has had many great teachers, but unfortunately, one person will be retiring this year. Bryn gives us some more details. After working in education for 33 years, Mrs. Gluckley, a science teacher, has decided to retire after this school year. I teach chemistry, and I've taught physics, and for most of my 33 years, I've also taught AP Chemistry, and I've also taught Honors Chemistry. Ms. G has spent the majority of her teaching career in 204 schools. I've worked at NEQA for six years. Uh, before that, I worked at Wabonzi for 22. And before that, I worked other places for five years. Mrs. Gluckley always has a great time with her classes. You know, I try to have fun every day with my kids, with my colleagues. Because this is the end of my career that I've been at NEQA, I'm just kind of more chill. After finishing out her years as a teacher at NEQA, there are some things she will miss every day. The thing I will miss the most about NEQA is just uh, working with the kids. My colleagues, who are crazy, uh, they're a lot of fun to work with as well. When asked about her plans for retirement, Mrs. Gluckley has one thing she is most excited for. First plan is to not get up so early. Because, dang, this is just way too early to be getting up every day. We wish you the best of luck in retirement, Miss G. And for Wildcat Weekly, I'm Bryn Ocon. The water polo season is underway. Chris has a preview of the boys and girls season. Water polo season is underway, and many changes have been made for both the guys' and girls' teams. One in particular is both teams have a new head coach. Uh, well, there's definitely going to be some changes from our past coach. He uh, wants to run some new offensive styles, and he's also letting us kind of do what we want still, but he's kind of implementing some new changes, running things a little differently, but it's going to be pretty similar to last season. Well, I'm kind of used to it, trying to teach kids the system that I like to do. And it is very similar to what I had to do over at Wabonzi Valley. Um, well, I know as of right now, we're going to actually do more swimming, so that's going to be more training, which is going to be good for our team to get us more into like better shape. Like some small adjustments, I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of trial and error because new coach, you don't really know what to expect at first, but so far it's like going really well. I um, have a lot of experience playing in college and high school, so um, it's very natural to me. So I know how the sport works. I know the ins and outs and how to um, kind of give the girls some skills to develop them, develop them as better players in the long run. Another year means new leadership for both teams. Um, the leadership is pretty strong. We have some returning seniors that we have about six or seven of them that are returning seniors that have played before. So those uh, girls are represent a great role models for the rest of the team that might be experienced or not so experienced. So looks pretty good. Senior class has really guided the team in a great direction, and they've taken a really good leadership, showing me some of the traditions that they did. Good luck to both teams this weekend as the boys head to Naperville North and the girls head to Matia Valley to participate in a Naperville tournament. And for Wildcat Weekly, I'm Chris Bogaisky. We all love the productions here at Nequa Valley, but do we really know what happens behind the scenes? Mason takes a further look into the tech crew. Not many people know the hard work and dedication behind the scenes of our Nequa shows. Tech crew here at Nico, we are split up into two teams. The first crew is responsible for the set construction, which is the team that, that constructs a set, constructs our props, uh, and then during the show, they're responsible for uh, removing the set on and off during the blackouts, and then any other um, scenic responsibilities during the show. Then we have our lighting and sound crew, and they're responsible for designing our, our lights, creating the looks, creating the kind of the mood during the scene. The weeks leading up to a show are long and rigorous, but the hard work is always worth it in the end. All right, so a typical week for Tech Crew varies from show to show. For a show, let's say Orcs is a variety show, everything it happens in one week, from the light hang to the programming to the running of the show. 
The opportunity to be a part of Tech Crew is available to all students and is easy to apply for. Uh, to be a part of Tech Crew, uh, keep an eye out on the Niqua Theater webpage, um, fill out an application, and then we pick a crew on a show by show basis. Thank you, Tech Crew, for all that you provide for the school. Our shows wouldn't be the same without you. And for Wildcat Weekly, I'm Mason Mazurik. Senior Spectacular is an event you don't want to miss. Keegan gives us an idea of what it's all about. Every April, Nico holds the biggest party of the year called Senior Spectacular. Every senior is invited to come out and have some fun. Although they like to keep the activities a surprise, we know that there will be food and games. Some seniors express their excitement for the night. Excited for hair braiding. <laughs> Alright, I'm excited for it to be lit. I'm excited to see the t-shirts everyone's wearing for where they're going to college. Um, I'm excited for the food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going because my mom's making me. Go ahead. Uh, probably the bouncy houses and the removable tattoos. Go ahead. Uh, I, I kind of want to play some like lawn darts at Senior Spectacular. So. Ticket sales are only available online this year. Going on now to the 16th of April. General admission is $65, and you must bring your school ID to enter at the doors. Go to Nico's homepage to find the link to register. It's a lock-in, so you must arrive at 7 p.m and you are there for the entire evening until midnight. Seniors have a spectacular time at Senior Spectacular. And for Wildcat Weekly, I'm Keegan Sharko. And also, congrats to the Special Olympics team in raising close to $4,000 in participating in the Polar Plunge this past weekend. Thanks for watching this week's edition of Wildcat Weekly. Have a fantastic weekend, Wildcats. Jump in the Cadillac, girls, put some miles on it. Anything you want, just to put a smile on it. You deserve it, baby, you deserve it all.